Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now for all you people who are just learning how to do crochet, I'm going to show you how to do a nice flat circle, nice and flat and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now when you make these circles, if you make it smaller, you can make it into little face scrubbies. You can put your coffee cups on them. You can make them slightly larger and put your plates on them. You can use them for coasters. You could use the circles for any amount of different things. You can use a much thicker yarn and make much, much bigger ones and make them into floor mats. You can put them on the floor as long as on the back if you stitch on some non-slip matting and this is the same way to make a round floor mat so i'm going to show you how to make a nice flat round circle in a treble crochet stitch you can do this in a double crochet stitch if you want but this one is in a treble crochet stitch so to make a flat to make a flat circle, we're going to start with a magic ring or a magic circle. You're going to be able to pull the centre of your circle really tight and you won't have a hole in it. And I'm going to show you how to make this magic ring. Now with the tail end of your yarn over your hand, you use whatever yarn that you want to use to make your flat circle. I'm using a double knitting pink yarn it's just a ball i've got wrapped up like this my hook is a size five millimeter that's a five millimeter crochet hook you use whatever hook goes for the size with the ball of yarn that you have look on the label if you look on the label it'll tell you what size the crochet hook or what size of knitting needles to use with that type of yarn. So I've got a five millimeter crochet hook and I've got my double knitting yarn. So with the tail end on your hand like this, wrap your yarn around and make an X. Make an X, that's the tail end of my yarn at the front. Make sure the tail's at the front. So I've made an X. Put your hook, under the top right side of that Y, uh, of that X, and pull your yarn through like this. Take your hand out and get your working yarn, give it a little pull, put it around your hook and pull through that loop. Now you have what looks like a little lasso, give it a little tightening like that it doesn't need to be that big to pull it in like that so once you've got all your stitches inside there when you pull that tail it'll pull the inner circle the inside of your circle really tight like this i'll show you i'll show you again how to do that so the tail end of your yarn on the front of your hand, just hold it with your thumb, bring your yarn around the back of your hand and cross it over into an X shape. That's the tail end of your yarn. Bring your hook under this top part here and just pull your working yarn through. Pull it through, take your fingers out get your working yarn put it over your hook and pull it through that little loop and that's you got your little hoop looks like a little hangman's noose just pull that tight a little bit not too tight you don't need a great big hoop so there we go Practice doing that because it's a really handy thing when you pull it tight and you don't have a hole in the middle of your crochet. So now you're going to put your yarn over your hook and pull through. We're doing a chain of three, so we've got two stitches, yarn over and pull through. 
Now this is called a treble crochet stitch in the UK. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet stitch. So you'll count that chain as your first stitch. So that's you done. That counts as your first treble crochet. Put your yarn over your hook, through the hole, right through, and pull your yarn through. You've got three loops on your hook. Put your yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Yarn over your hook, into the big loop, pull your yarn through, yarn over your hook, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So we've got count your chain of three, that's one stitch, two stitches, three stitches. We're going to put 12 all together. So when you count it, you should have 12. So we've got one, two, three. Yarn over, into the hoop, pull your yarn back, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. One, two, three, four. We've now got four. Count your chain. One, two, three, and four. We're going to keep doing that until we've got 12 all together. So we've got 12 inside our little loop like a ring. Make sure you count that chain of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 and 12. So what you're going to do now is take that tail end and pull. Pull that little magic ring tight. See how the hole in the middle disappears? Pull it. So now what we're going to do is a slip stitch. So that very first stitch is our chain of three. One, two, three. Take your hook and push it through the top third stitch in that chain. Push it through. Just, just push it through there. No yarn over. Just push it through the top of that chain. Put your yarn over now and pull it through. And then pull it through that loop to close that little circle. So that closes your little circle. We'll sew that in with a darning needle later. What you're going to do now is chain three. So yarn over your hook and pull through. That's one. Yarn over, pull through, two. Yarn over, pull through, three. So we've got our chain of three. Into this next stitch. Here, we're going to put two treble crochets into this next stitch. So yarn over, we're going to put into the top of the stitch, catch both parts of that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So into the same stitch, we're going to do another treble crochet. So yarn over and into that same stitch, put your hook in through that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Forget about a chain just now. So we've got our first increase. We've got two treble crochets into that one stitch. Now into the next stitch we're going to do the same. We're going to put two treble crochets into every single stitch. This part of the stitch all the way around. So yarn over and into the top of the next stitch. And pull through. Yarn over. Through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. Yarn over again into the same stitch into the hole right beside the one that you've just done. So if you're crocheting along, 
we're putting two into every stitch. If you're in the USA, this is called a double crochet. If you're in the UK, it's a treble crochet. So we've got two in that stitch and two in that stitch. So we're on to the next stitch. So yarn over and go through the top of the next stitch. Make sure you catch the two parts of that loop. You can see it there. Make sure you catch the two parts. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, through two loops, and through two loops. Put another one into that same stitch, another treble crochet. So we're increasing around, all the way around this circle. So the next stitch, two treble crochets into that same stitch. One and two. The next stitch, two treble crochets. One and two. Now, if you pause the video, we'll work our way around two into every stitch all the way around to the end. And I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've worked my two treble crochets into each stitch all the way around to the end. Now, this last stitch, I'm only going to put one treble crochet into it. Because I've got my chain of three, that'll make my... That'll make up my two trebles for each stitch. So into the bottom where this chain of three is, I'm going to put one treble crochet. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now that's your chain of three. Count one, two, three. Now into the top here, we're going to just push your hook through, we're going to do a slip stitch, push your hook through that stitch, put your yarn over and pull it back, pull it through, you've got two loops, now just pull it straight through that loop there and that closes that ring. The next row, so we should have 24 stitches. You should have 24 stitches all the way around your little circle. So again, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Into the next stitch, we're going to put one treble crochet. One treble crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to increase our circle. One treble crochet into that next stitch. The next stitch we're going to put two treble crochets. We're going to put increased stitches. So that's two treble crochets into that same stitch. That's our second one. The next one, we're only going to put one treble crochet. If you keep putting two into every stitch, your circle will start to go like this. If you keep putting two into all the stitches, it will work its way up like a bowl. We want it to stay flat like this. So this next round is one treble crochet into the next stitch two into the next stitch. We're going to put one treble crochet into the next one. And then we're going to put two treble crochets into the next stitch. This is an increased stitch. One and two. One treble crochet into the next stitch. We're going to do this all the way around. So it'll be one treble crochet, then two, one treble crochet, and then two. So I'm back round to my last stitch where my treble crochet, my 
to where my chain of three is. So I'm going to put right at the bottom of that treble crochet, there's a little stitch there. I'm going to put my one treble crochet in. So that one stitch and my chain will make my two. That'll make the two. So then we've got one, then we've got two, then we've got one. So the chain of three makes up my second stitch in that one. So into the third chain, one, two, three. So count the chain, one, two, and three. Push your hook through that third stitch in that chain of three that we started with. Pull it through and slip stitch to finish your circle. So what we're going to do now, the next round, chain three, one, two, three. Into the next stitch, you're going to put one treble crochet. The next stitch, you're going to put one treble crochet. And then you're going to do your increase by putting two into the next stitch. So this time we're going to have two single crochets in between our increase stitches. So yarn over into the top of that stitch. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. Don't count the chain just now because your chain will get your little increase stitch at its side. So we've got one here. You're going to put one into the next stitch. One treble crochet. So you've got one treble crochet, one treble crochet, and we're going to put two into the next stitch. So that's one treble crochet and another one into that same stitch. One treble crochet, one treble crochet, and then two to increase. So one treble crochet into the next stitch, one more into the next stitch, and then we're going to do our two trebles into the same stitch, our increase stitch. So we're going to do one, And our next one, that's two. And then an increase stitch. So that's two trebles into the same stitch. Then we'll put one treble crochet, one treble crochet, and then two into the next stitch. Then one, one, and then two. Each round you're going to be increasing the number of single crochets in between your increase stitches. So down here we've only got one, we've got our increase stitch, one treble crochet and our increase stitch. The next round we've got our increase stitch, one, two and then our increase stitch. The next round you'll have your increase stitch, then you'll have three single treble crochets and then an increase. You'll do that for as big as you want your circle. So we're doing two single crochets, two single trebles, one into that one and one into that one. It's my second one. And two into the next stitch. One and two. My one treble crochet, my one treble crochet. So we're back at the chain. So right at the stitch at the bottom of the chain, this chain is going to be our increase stitch. So we've got one there. So yarn over and into the bottom where your chain is. I'll put my treble crochet and I'm going to slip stitch one, two, three into the third chain, the third space in my chain. Pull your yarn through and just slip stitch to there. And that is how you make a 
perfect flat circle. So if you're a beginner, that is how you make your nice flat circle. Your next row, chain of three, then you'll have three single treble crochets and then a double. Three single treble crochets and then a double. So you'll put two into that stitch. One, two, three, and then two. Every row you'll have more and more in between your increased stitches. So the row down here, we've got one in between our increased stitches. The next one we have two. The next row we'll have three stitches and then four and then five. And that is how you continue to make your flat circle. If you want to do a shawl, just keep going and going and going. And you can see how you're increasing and that makes a nice great big circle. So to finish this off, just cut your yarn, put it over your hook and pull it right through that stitch. You're going to get yourself a darning needle. A darning needle's got a big eye in it. Thread your yarn through the darning needle and you're going to just put some stitches in to hold your yarn in. I come down through, I come work my way down the treble crochet. Just work your way down that treble crochet. We'll turn it to the back and I'm just going to pull it through a few stitches just to fasten it off. Pull it through. Snip my yarn off. This is the back of my circle. Put my darning, put the yarn onto the darning needle again. And remember, we did the little magic circle. Just give it a little pull to tighten it in and put a few stitches into the back. Don't make it too bulky. You don't want it too bulky. Just to bring that in. To hide that end. Trim your yarn off. And that's it. So there we go. You've got your little flat circle. If you want it bigger... Just you'll be increasing the amount of trebles in between your increased stitches just like this so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my channel please click on that subscribe button it is free to subscribe to my channel if you click on that bell icon then you'll get notified when I put up another tutorial so thank you once again for watching. Until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.